All right, guys, MPA Career Rival is here. It's finally here, it's ready for sale. Let's go over what it is and how you would use it. First of all, it is the final component of the MPA Perry Series. And to refresh you, the Perry Series is comprised of the pre-workout, which is Celluval, the intra workout, which is farm grade, and now you have Cree Rabival, the post workout component. Cree Rabival is comprised of creatine monohydrate, tried and true basic creatine monohydrate. I chose that creatine simply because it is sound in research, it's tried and true, it's been demonstrated and stood the test of time. There's been several other new age creatines. A lot of companies have tried to market creatine ethyl ester, creatine malate, dimalate, etc. Some of them might be okay, but there's just not enough body of research for me to fully back it and endorse it. Therefore, I went with the tried and true German grade Creapure at a whopping dose of 10 grams. Next, I'm very fond of the ingredient D-ribose. We use the bioenergy trademark form and we use at five gram dose. D-ribose will aid in ATP production and skeletal muscle and also cardiac muscle. So it's also very healthy for your heart. After that, we went with L-leucine. And of course, we used Ajinomoto, Agipure, vegetable fermented L-leucine, the highest quality, it's pharmaceutical grade, just like our farm grade. I went with five gram dose to stimulate insulin production, because leucine is insulinogenic, and also to stimulate mTOR production for protein synthesis, for muscle recovery. After that, we went with something called 4-hydroxy isoleucine, with the trademark version of it called Promelin. Research has shown 200 milligrams of 4-hydroxy isoleucine to stimulate insulin production, to help aid in creatine absorption into muscle cells. That was at 200 milligrams. We went with 500 milligrams because everything at MPA subs is above and beyond. So we went with that. Keep in mind, there is something that I want to note with the Promelin 4-hydroxy isoleucine ingredient. It is very uh, pungent because it's a constituent of fenugreek. So it has a slight maple hint, uh, scent, has a slight maple taste to it. So definitely be aware of that. And that's just from that ingredient. If you taste it and notice that. After that, I decided to go with bromelain. We went with bromelain simply because my plan is for people to ingest this drink right after their training, and then within 10 minutes, follow this drink with a protein shake or a fast digesting, low fat animal source of protein. So the bromelain is going to set the tone in your stomach. It's a proteolytic enzyme, so it's going to break down the incoming protein, whether it's from a shake, white fish, or chicken, and break it up into peptides so it's readily absorbed and assimilated in your body, ready for recovery. And finally, we added 10 grams of cluster dextrin, which of course is the trademark form of highly branched cyclic dextrin, which is a high molecular weight carb. Why did I only choose 10 grams? Other companies usually choose 25, 50 grams, etc. Well, I wanted it at a very low dose, but also to serve a purpose. I wanted it at a low dose to keep it diverse for my users, because I want people that are dieting for a show or dieting for summer to have low carb requirements to be able to use this product. But I also keep an open option for the off-season people, for people that want to gain weight. They can add additional carbs to the shake in supplement powder form or food form. Now, why would I not include more carbs? Well, I just told you why, but also I think that it cheapens the product. I think that the more effective ingredients are the other uh, components, which is the creatine, the ribose, the leucine. I think a lot of other companies water down the product with a cheap, simple carb. Uh, the cluster dextrin at 10 grams, so any sugar, Glucose, uh, sucrose, cyclic dextrin at 10 grams can actually amplify an insulin response. So that can work synergistically. Just that 10 grams with the leucine, with the promelin, 4-hydroxy isoleucine, and the ribose to create enough insulin signaling to shuttle the creatine into the muscle cells, the leucine into the muscle cells, et cetera. You don't need a large bolus amount of sugar because let's face it, for a lot of people, they get bloated, they get water retentive, they gain unnecessary body fat, whether that's from elevated insulin levels, shuttling the dietary fat that they eat later into the fat cells, et cetera. This product is made with a plan, with purpose, because I personally put these ingredients together. I use them firsthand. Uh, several months prior to actually putting this product out and I think it's very effective and very awesome uh, and it's it's pretty it's pretty cool guys uh, I think post-workout was overlooked the last 10-15 years it was hot and heavy about 20 years ago then people just kind of went to the pre-workout thing but I really want to bring this back I think it serves a great purpose and I'm very excited for you guys to use this product and look forward to more things coming up guys we have a lot of stuff on the horizon thank you for su the support and I will see you guys later.